Okay, so let me turn to poverty. The poverty numbers uh, are better in the sense that uh, poverty didn't rise, and that's very good news, but it didn't fall very much either. It uh, fell uh, n insignificantly from 15.1% to 15%, so it's still at the highest level that we've seen uh, post-1967, except in two years, uh, where it's just slightly higher. So poverty numbers haven't declined very much. Well, again, the good news is that the poverty measure doesn't capture all of the resources available to low-income people. And just as middle-income people, uh, are, uh, the median income person is actually, uh, for the most part, better off because of government transfers and taxes, uh, that's also true of uh, low-income people. So let me show you numbers, and the same, I'm going to make the same point that uh, Ron did, that, that I only have the numbers for 2010. My sense is that uh, things won't have dramatically changed that if you look at the bottom quintile and look at the mean household income of the bottom quintile, you see that it's, it's actually pretty low, uh, and it's always low. Uh, in 2007, the peak year of the last business cycle, it was around $4,000. It's dropped to below $3,000, and uh, it's possible that uh, their market income has increased slightly, and that may be the reason why uh, the poverty rates haven't risen even more.